Right guys, so Dark Corner sent me a, the, the Evo Starter Pack. This is a Calibon Evo Starter Pack. This is going to be the new revolution of points. Um, and I think it's a great concept idea. So you'll be able to change your points very quickly. I know there's been some people have had issues with this so far. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through this and set up my own and just show you how it's done. So let's go and do that now. Okay, I'm just going to show you the packaging first. So it's got the Evo there. Replaceable point system starter kit. So it's spigot, the steel point sleeve, the repoint tool, and the driver key. So that's what's inside. And again, I will just bring that a little bit closer so you can see it. So the starter kit installation instruction, remove the old point on your dart, screw the spigot on the repoint tool, install the spigot into your dart by using the repointer push the tool to the end to make sure that the spigot is in the right place screw off the repoint tool screw the evil point on your dart use the driver key to tighten it so we will do this um, step by step so i'm just letting you see what you get inside so foam that's your, your driver key there it's got different sizes. I'm going to assume there's going to be different points in that because it's slightly different shapes as well uh, on this. And you've got your little sleeve there as well. And I've got the three points. So that's them there. Okay, so the darts I will be using to repoint are my custom darts. So that's my custom darts there. Uh, so what I'll do is I need to get my, my tools, my repointer tool, which I have here. So I'll get this out. I'll check one of the points off. Then I'll get it set up. Okay, I've just took the point out of my dart, just so you can see that I've just done this. Um, I'll put that down there. So what you do is get the, the evil carbon evil point there. So you take off the spigot, which is at the top there, you just unscrew it. It's got a little tiny thread on this. Then you get the, the sleeve. So you've got the sleeve there that you just screw it into. So you screw that in. Just be careful. It's very small. Don't want to lose that at all. And get your Repointer tool, slide it in. You want it to line up to the bolt area. Just tighten that off. Keep that in line. You want it to be flush to that. Yeah, tighten that up. Tighten that up. Nice and tight. Go and I'll just screw that in. Just watch the alignment as well. Just want to get that lined up. There we go, that's better. And you just tighten this up until it goes all the way down to the bolt. far down as it will let you. Oh, and that's as far as it will let me go. Right, so loosen this off. Do, 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 do. Listen to that. Come on. And then what you do is you get the, the driver tool. I'm going to assume it's that one there, which goes with the bolt. Just push that in. The hole goes round it and unscrew it. Oh, <laughs> I can't unscrew it. And you start to go. It was a little bit tight there. Right, oi! Oh, that was a little bit tight. 
don't know how to put some force into that uh, but you can see the spigot just inside there and then what you get is the point wherever you may be is that the one there? Uh, that's the one there so you can just screw that in You can get the tool driver tool again and it'll be the middle one just going by the shape of that there and just paint it slightly that shape don't know if you can see that properly sticking out a little bit because i couldn't get the the bolt all the way down i think just maybe the the how deep it's been cutting in my my darts and uh, that'll be the issue Right, so I'll get the other two set up and uh, I'll show you the end result. So unfortunately, doing my last start, I have snapped the repoint tool. Uh, it's holding the spigot in because it was just so tight in that I was struggling to get it out. Uh, unscrew it. It's still there, but it really solid in. Uh, I don't know, it just snapped. Uh, from that side um, but yeah <laughs> oh god um, I'll get a pair of pliers and be able to take that out but I should be able to still put the point in hopefully so wish me luck right so I managed to get it out it took a quite a fair bit of force unfortunately that was just solid in um, it was really hard to take this bit out this part of it out really stuck in my barrel I actually had to use that a set of rubber gloves because I started shredding my fingers and um, trying to get this little segment out but I finally did I've got the darts all fully set up there that's the same with the new points so thankfully I know I damaged the spigot uh, inside it and they're pretty straight so we'll have a few throws and see what they like on the board right we'll just see how they go well i know how these go but slightly bigger points than what i'm used to throwing with these darts i'm sticking in the board all right they're fine i think they've got that slight matte texture on the points so they're not like a shiny silver to them which helps. I'd be curious to see how these go when they hit concrete as well. Uh, see how durable they are. Oh. But yeah, they look all right. They're sticking in. I mean, you have to really take them out. So I think that coating's giving them that little bit of extra grip on the board. But yeah, let's do a little summary. Right, so the Caliburn Evo starter kit tool to repoint your darts. Great idea. I love the concept behind it. That downside is this repoint tool is very flimsy and weak. And I managed to snap it. I think that is due to the fact that when you're trying to put the spigot into your barrel, it is going in tight. So when you're trying to unscrew this resistance from the barrel as well, there's a bit of friction and a, a bit of resistance depending on what dart it is and what drill point has been used in it. Because you do get some that's slightly bigger or some that's slightly smaller. But yeah, that's the downside for me. It snapped dead easy, putting the, the third one on and I just... It was a real struggle to try and get that out afterwards because trying to hold my dart in one hand and try to turn with the driver key uh, I, I mean i've shredded my my fingers and uh, finger and thumb just try to hold on uh, i actually had to find a rubber glove to try and hold on to get that friction on it but um apart from that i love the idea uh, the points you can buy and there's various other points out there they're about 8.95 as well so about nine pound for a new set now again once they're in it's fine these spigots once they're in it's fine make sure you have to take your time and lining it up 
don't rush pulling it, putting them in. I actually thought I bent it or snapped it inside when I was trying to get it out, but I was very careful. It stayed in and it's the, the points are straight. Uh, yeah, just double checking that I never bent it. Um, but yeah, not a bad idea. £12.50 £12 off the Darts Connors website. Cheap for a wee starter pack that you get and it lets you try it out. So yeah, if you like the screw in idea, do try it. But do take your time in doing it and don't force it too much of a grip on me. Eh? And I forced it too much and that's how I think I managed to snap. That bit is just too flimsy. Make that a steel rod or something. Eh? Make it more solid eh? and I think it'll be perfect. But yeah, I'd just like to thank Darts Corner for sending this out to me. I loved the idea. Eh? I was going to get this anyway just to try it out and see how it got on with it. And I'm thankful that Darts Corner sent it to me. But it is a good idea, but again, do take your time in doing this. Don't rush it. And you can reverse the reverse the process as well. So you can take the spigot out to put it in another dart. Just reverse the process and how you put it in. But yeah, that's it from me, guys. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Turn notifications on for more reviews and live streams. And I'll catch you in the next one. Happy learning, guys. Bye.